Good morning. We're here at Cremona Musica in the stand of Universal Edition. We're here with Hans Hook. Hans, good morning. Good morning. Hi. Can you good talk to us? You. Yes. Good to see you. Can you talk to us about your company, about Universal Edition? Yeah, let's try in a few seconds, I think. <laughs> yeah. So hello everybody, I'm Hans from Universal Edition. We are a publishing house based in Vienna, founded in 1901. So quite, quite a big history. Uh, usually are known for our uh, composers in the contemporary music. So in the first half of the 20th century, it's been all about, let's say, Mahler and Bartok and Schoenberg and all those guys from the second Vienna's, Viennese school. And after the Second World War, it's all about really contemporary music, electronic music like Stockhausen. And then it's, I think, all about uh, Arvo Pärt, Wolfgang Riem, so more or less our most famous composers uh, that we have uh, the pleasure to publish. Uh, actually, in Cremona, we are presenting our quite big program, about 6,000 titles in the area of play and learn literature. So it's about uh, all playing an instrument, learning an instrument, but also what is our focus is playing in ensemble, in flexible ensembles. And Cremona and the Monda Musica for us is uh, one of the key fairs uh, during the year. So I think we are here for over 10 or 15 years. And uh, it's uh, for us very important to get in touch with the teachers uh, to, to say what, what they could say about our literature if they could use them in, uh, in their educational area. So it's, uh, we are always happy to be here. I think it's a perfect surrounding to get in touch with our, let's say, target group, if you see, for economic reasons. So that's why we are here. So at the moment, you are presenting, you see it in the background, let's say, all new publications from spring and autumn 2019. And uh, the focus is uh, uh, also, as I said, about uh, uh, the ensemble music, but various publications, also contemporary music arrangements for violoncello, for violin, could be also from Berio, could be from Arvo Pert, but could be also from our uh, authors in the pedagogic uh, area, which is uh, quite famous also in, in Italy, is James Ray for doing his ensemble pieces in flexible instrumentation and uh, as I said we are quite happy to show and get a feedback on our publications here uh, from the teachers. Obviously there's a website where viewers can see the full catalog. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us the website or do you have Facebook or social network pages? So we're doing all that. Yes. All that can stuff. You? So it's all that stuff, sure. But uh, what, what, what is important to see, I think this is uh, actually be at the place and browse through the editions. So it's a completely different, uh, let's say, picture. If you have the chance to look at the book, take the book, experience the book, yeah, turn the pages. So let's say the web shop is our let's say, first door yeah, where customer entrance is, yeah, is open. You can see, okay, this is all the 6,000 titles. Uh, search by instrumentation and then get down to the point and then we also show the cover we show also some sample pages inside but I think this is the first point and then it's it's very helpful for the teacher it's it's very helpful for the teacher to see okay these are ten pieces are all ten pieces useful for my classes or it's just one piece so this decision is uh, uh, actually done in a music shop where we actually have to see that Italy is, is not so well, well, let's say, presented with music shops, yeah? at least if you are outside of Roma or outside of Milano. Or, yeah? So I, I think you have to have both. So it would be also for us very important that, uh, that there are more shops where the teacher can go to and actually browse through the editions like they do here on the Mondo Musica. But this is exactly the importance in Italy for us to give teachers a chance to have a look at all our books, to make the decision and to really to judge them if they are useful or not. So we are really in, also in this surrounding competition. I think it's interesting for us and, and important for us to get um, the teachers the chance to do this. Yeah, I would, so I, I invite you to be on uh, www.universaledition.com 
quite easy and also on Facebook you will find us uh, under Universal Edition and if you want to follow us on Twitter please use our hashtag also with Universal Edition. We're here at Universal Edition with composer Diego Collati. Diego, talk to us about your presence at Cremona Musica. I have the pleasure to, to be here and show my, my, some of my book's publications uh, which are um, uh, especially for tango and I did yesterday a workshop concentrated uh, on technique in tango style, Argentinian tango style. Uh, the idea was to talk about how to make tango, it uh, doesn't matter with which instrument. And I was talking about stylistic things which uh, they do come in the book in form of uh, articulations, uh, tips and uh, um, such ideas, yes, and we, we, have to, we were lucky that we have two students walking around here, they came with instruments and they try some pieces of mine and we, we talk about tango music. Great. Um, any instruments in particular that uh, you consider composing for, for the tango, the, the usual instruments or something? Yes, they are more usual. More Definitely the violin is one uh, instrument, the piano yes. as well, double bass in it, and the bandoneon, the typical instrument for tango. We, since we have so many, in Europe we have a lot of accordion player, and it's not a, actually in Argentinian music, the accordion was an uh, instrument, uh, it was before uh, bandoneon. Argentinians uh, get the bandoneon many years after the, the accordion because it doesn't have so much um, range, a different range. Yeah, it's a different range, less uh, harmonic. It sounds a little bit decent or uh, clearly as, as, uh, if you compare with the, with the accordion, but the tango music uh, fits to, it's uh, also very, very good to play with the accordion. Is there any music you want, you want to show us? Yes, uh, the, um, uh, for two years I, I did a method for piano uh, in two, two parts. Um, I begin uh, with very simple pieces where, we, where I show, um, for example, staccato uh, pieces only working one aspect of tango, then legato, uh, syncopations, articulations typical from tango, and since I took a little bit um, inspiration on Bartok's microcosmos, I did very uh, small pieces in order to give students the possibility not to invest a lot of time, but working a specific aspect of tango and having the, the feeling, uh, success feeling in a, in a short piece. What does it mean to you being here at Cremona Musica? Uh, it's very special. I've been here in April in the ESTA festival and uh, Italian in general. It's, uh, I'm half Italian, I was born in Argentina, but for me, for many reasons, it's very special to be here. And I feel a little bit at home and it's, it's a great thing that there is a lot of interest about learning and going ahead, not only by buying, but music, it's uh, spirit, it's uh, ideas. We are uh, all working around music, make this possible, and it's, it's a great joy, it's, uh, it's a, a great pleasure.